Hey, what's up? Thanks for watching my video of Batista's theme uh, on piano. I want to do a little bit more than just show you all the notes. Um, it's not necessarily for if you're trying to learn it. You don't have to learn it exactly the way that I play it. I like to kind of deconstruct the song and show you what's going on um, instead of just like, you know, just showing you the notes and be like, here, uh, copy and paste my homework, basically. Uh, so, you know, you could just listen to this part of the video if you're just curious as to like what I think about and, and like to get a bit of a, a, a bit of knowledge of what kind of music theory ideas are out there and just get to see how music theory is applied in, in like a real scenario in an actual song. Um, I must say that this song is semi advanced. Like I don't, I don't know. Um, most songs that are that I would do if I were really beginner it, it, are like songs that would um, never change key. And by that I mean, um, you would have like the same like, like you would have those notes like all the time. You kind of never touch. Like I would never touch um, F. I would never touch G sharp. I would never touch A sharp. You know, I I would just. Um, have those notes forever regardless of what I'm doing so that's why I say this one's a little bit more difficult because um, if you don't know if you haven't mastered like several different uh, keys it's gonna mix a lot of them all together so it's a bit like it, it, I I would say it's a bit awkward to be your first song but um, as far as Batista's theme um, you know how about we just jump into it um, it, it's it starts off in in B minor. Oh, it uses the key B minor. It, it starts off in G major, which is um um the sixth uh degree of of B minor or five six, and you use like uh so it'll be G major while you're doing this like uh this pattern like. This is gonna change and use a C, which is not in 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 B minor at all. So it's gonna go like, and it's also gonna use like a, a sharp up here. Oh, this chord I don't get what this chord is. If you were, to, I just play like a C, like C G C, like you know, just you know, one five one. Which you could get away with with most of the left hand in the song, um, but the chord is kind of like it, I don't know what to call this. It's kind of like a I view it as like a C sharp and then like a F sharp on top of it. I both uh, like this I you know these two like C and E and F sharp and A sharp. It's a, it's it's strange. I like how it sounds. I'm not gonna question it too much. Um, so we have the second part is, oh, and then this one is more traditional, what you would expect to find in B. It, it's, it's, the left hand is on B, and remember your um, five is um, F sharp. And now when we go to A, we kind of use A minor instead of A major, uh, and in the key of B minor, you would have like... But you're gonna use this C instead of C sharp. So you flatten your C. Um, you flatten your C sharp. So now it's back to normal C, right? So it's like. Um, so you have like. So you want to make sure you emphasize it on on the right hand. That's kind of like giving that clue of like what. Uh, new notes we're introducing, and then we rest on this G sharp. You can use like G sharp diminished, uh, full diminished. No, that's half diminished. But you don't have to do the the, the full chord. You could just get away with um, you could get away with just playing like uh, B. Oh, that would be that would complete the chord actually. You could get like this uh, B minor triad here in the right hand, and then just that. So. Put it all together. And then the second time I do it, I kind of change the, uh, the second time I do it, I, I change the bass, my uh, left hand. 
I do a pattern, and I kind of do the pattern uh, consistently throughout the whole uh, section. It's just... So normally you would want to just do, like, if you were to do, like, the chord, like, uh, it would be like that, like, uh, G, D, and G again. But as, like, this melody is, um, I'm kind of using the... Um, I'm going beyond, I'm going one beyond um, my destination every time. So here we go. So that's cool. That rhythm might be a little awkward to do. Even I kind of stumble and like, you know, mess up with it. Um, so you could also get away with like... You know, pretty much just play like the um, just play octaves. That that's also um, acceptable. So once we get into the first part of the song, once we're like, oops. So you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to do like the octave in the right hand. That's kind of like just to make it fancy. Um, I play that. So it starts off uh, the left hand. It's still the same exact chord progression. It's um, G to C to B to A to G sharp. So that's the pattern you're going to be like have to memorize with that. And then while you're playing the melody, um, it'll be just a basic B minor triad. Or you can leave out the chord altogether. Um, so notice how the melody is uh, emphasizing those changes as it goes, and then you just do it again. But this time, the melody is slightly different. It goes instead of so, um, so th that ending part is kind of like uh, you just stay you just stay on a uh, B with the left hand. You kind of want to use like uh, B sus like, and you want to resolve to B major instead of B minor. So instead of like like that sad like dark, it's like. Before I move on, what I would do is I would research uh, what's in B minor and then kind of get really good at B minor and then like just be aware of when things aren't in B minor. So that's basically all I'm saying. So now in this second section, you're kind of playing. Um, this is like. So we have a new key change, right? So this would be, um, you're kind of playing like a D minor now, like kind of like uh, how Hyde's theme is. Since you're you're in the key of D minor, which is the convenient thing about this part is that whatever key you're in, your right hand is just going to play that chord. So I'm just playing D minor. And so, but you start on the four of that key. So, which is uh, G. And you're gonna just go up a fourth, uh, so from G to C, and in the right hand you're going to kind of play melody and kind of resolve on C. So I kind of the way that I think is that melodies are kind of like blah 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 to me, and and, and I'm kind of thinking like chord blah 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 chord. So I'm kind of thinking like so I'm kind of like. Chord, blah, 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 chord, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's kind of like what I'm doing in my head. <laughs> and then you play the exact same thing, but now you shifted keys to C minor. So that's why I said this one's a bit awkward, even though it's the exact same line. Um, so it's the same line, but it's in C minor. So like in C minor, we have, we have C and we have like, our flats are E, uh, A, and B. 
so we have like the uh, the same like idea. You, you start on the uh, the one chord, you, C minor, the key that we're in, and the left hand will be the four, which is F. So chord blah 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 chord, which is like you know B flat is a fourth up from um, F, and we're finishing the chord. Well, this is like kind of like chord, and then like melody is kind of like doing stuff. So um together and then we're kind of i don't know where we are now to be honest like i think we're back in b i don't know yeah we're back in wait what the hell is that <laughs> i kind of just memorized that part let me let, let me analyze this like like oh uh, right now uh wait 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 so um so we have, um, so we're back kind of like at, that's back to like what we're using, but we're on the four again. And we go up a fourth to uh, A. And then we kind of use like C instead of C uh, sharp again. And then we use like major again. And then you do it one more time. I kind of did like some like, the cute stuff. It's just the same thing, exactly the same. It's fine. However, you get through the section, do the same way. And then this time, you want to go to F sharp. And then you want to end on uh, C major. And then you can do like a cute little slide <laughs> if you want to. So we're now playing in the key of D major. But not to fear. It, the, your, it's the relative major to B minor, so all your notes are exactly the same. So in B minor, the key that we started off in, all these notes are exactly the same in D major. It's just from a different perspective. It just starts on like, um, it just starts on D major instead of B minor, if that makes sense. But unfortunately, we're not, we're not just in D. We're like modifying a lot of stuff. So, we start off in D, like D major. I played the chord in the right hand because I'm going to use the chord anyways, right? So you may as well just play it, get out the way. So I I try to break everything down. Um, that's how I, I memorize it. And I'm gonna be going to G, and I use this voicing of G, which is like um, um G major, right? So G B and D, but I use this D down here. So this is second inversion. So first inversion, second inversion, same chord, but it's G. So, and your left hand is going to literally just uh, go from D to G, right? Um, and then this part's a little tricky. I kind of memorized that I'm just gonna go up to a, a, a half step. This is not in, in D major, this is, um, you sharpen your G and you kind of like finish like this E chord. You can finish it fully if you really want to. But you're going to be going, the pattern basically is like major chord to a major chord that's up a four. So like D, E, F, G. And then this is like um, E, F, G. And then this is like um, F sharp, uh, <laughs> G sharp, A sharp, D, but this is minor. So it's kind of like the same pattern, except I kind of, I don't play the root position in the left hand. So it, it basically, long story short, you kind of like imagine that you're playing like um, um, D to G. And this is E. Even though my left hand is playing the third, it's playing G sharp in the E major. And then you play A. And F sharp, you would play like the third of F sharp, right? Which is A sharp. And then this part. Um, so I memorize, I just memorized this uh, part as like a melody. So I'm kind of like going I'm kind of like traveling. I think about like where I am and where I'm traveling to. I'm kind of traveling to G sharp. And then I'm kind of uh, dancing back to A. 
and while at the same time the right hand is so you're kind of uh um just this this line is kind of like there's not too many jumps it's kind of like and then one jump oh if that makes sense so basically what i'm saying is um i memorized the pattern of like so it's basically a memory game kind of but you're kind of using just remember that you're using g sharp instead of um g in that section so the last section of the song is pretty fun. Um, and the only thing you do to set it up is you go to, you resolve on F sharp instead of A. So you do the same section four times in a row the same way, right? Oh, sorry. This is the last version. So you end on the F sharp. At least that's how I interpret it, the song. Uh, if I'm playing around there, oops. And then um, this is just a B uh, minor, which is basically where we're supposed to be in most of the time, right? But you just finish it like like this, and like so, all these extra notes are just like you know, like mostly duplicates, like. So it's like um, B minor to F sharp. Um, I would assume, oh yeah, major, but I just use like this, um, so you could do like the same pattern, um, you just do like the chord like normal, and then you take like the two ends and you go down by one, and now you kind of want to just go to, um, A, and then you want to set that up all over again, it's just one more time. These two just go down, like the your last two just go down. So while you do the melody, like um, and then this is like uh, this chord progression here is B A F sharp. Which is interesting that we end on the uh, uh, D sharp, so we're uh, claiming that we're on B major instead of B minor now, uh, thanks to the melody. So uh, one more time all together, it's um, um, so you could do that little like uh, I don't know what you call that like I don't know. Let me know what that's called. I don't know what that's called, to be honest with you. Um, so, oh, sorry. So this is like kind of like uh, you kind of do like um, the one five. Uh, one, one, five, eight, like, uh, voicing, like, most of it. Um. Oh, sorry. That's actually incorrect. It's the same voicing, but you want to go to F sharp. And then you go B, A, and then this is, um, an E, E major. So remember that trick earlier where you take, like, the two ends and you go down? So this is not a um don't don't be confused this is not a like a sharp or sorry a g sharp chord um this is actually an e chord because um it's it's based on the spacing of the chords it's just uh inverted that way so when you go like if whenever you go from like one position and your other fingers move but one note moves you're likely going up a fourth or up a fifth like you know or you're likely like traveling like from a to e like you know like you're you're actually traveling more distance while not traveling too much distance so it's just a little trick to like not overwhelm yourself while playing piano so um 
Oh, sorry. This part's easy. So the last part, um, it's um, it's like E. So I'm just playing like E like that, and then F sharp. Wait. While you play this B, D major, you just end there. So I did like all this fancy like arpeggio like. Um, That's all I'm doing. Really, all I'm doing is just, um, like, just B, F, B. Or I'm kind of doing B sus to B major. And then a, um, yeah. So anytime in music when you see all this extra stuff, you can cut all the nonsense down to, like, three, maybe four notes. And you're kind of just there. And then you can see how, like, part of those chords kind of get divided divided into the right hand and then sometimes you get stuff out of the left hand and sometimes the position isn't from the traditional root position. But I don't know if that was super confusing. I think if, I'm not saying this to talk down to anyone, like if I were, I'm thinking about myself like um, when I was like in high school, like, you know, I'm thinking like, man, I'm just gonna like not, do all that. I just want people to like know what kind of stuff or what kind of like ideas are out there and not try to like, you know, figure it all out all at once. Like I said, this is likely not the best song to get started on. If you want to play like things for Gini, I can break down other things if you uh, ever want me to. Just let me know what you guys want and I'll 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 work on it. Thanks. <laughs>